in this video we are going to deal a problem related to jet transform so we derived jet transform in uh, inverse jet transform in the last class by using that uh, equation of jet transform we are going to deal this problem first observe the problem a finite sequence x of n is defined as x of n is equivalent to phi comma 3 comma minus 3 comma 0 comma 4 comma minus 2 this is the finite sequence x of n finite sequence or finite uh, signal so x of n if they given like x of n so we can treat that as discrete signal so here that discrete signal is a finite signal which is having only six samples so here first keep in mind when they given sequence like this if they indicated any arrow mark like this that arrow mark sample you need to consider the sample at t is equivalent to 0 but in this problem they did not mention any arrow mark like structure why because so here you are having all six samples and you are not having any arrow mark if you are not having any arrow mark indicating any sample then you can treat the first sample as your first sample at t is equivalent to 0 that means you need to consider your sequence as fully right sided sequence for example they given a b c d e like this and they mentioned arrow mark at c so this c value you need to consider the value of the signal at t n is equivalent to 0 and the samples right to that fundamental sample you need to consider as right sided sequence like x of n and x of 2 like this the sequence elements left to this x of 0 you need to consider like x of minus 1 and x of minus 2 up to x of minus infinity this side up to x of plus infinity like this way we need to consider if arrow mark is not given you need to consider starting point is the x of 0 that means you need to consider your sequence as fully right sided sequence so here you are having this as x of 0 and this as x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 x of 4 x of 5 so you need to consider up to n is equivalent to 5 starting from n is equivalent to 0 to 5 you are having your signal what they are asking they are asking what is the jet transform of the finite duration sequence x of n so now i am writing that jet transform equation they are asking what is the jet transform of x of n so jet transform of x of n is always represented with x of z so this x of z is equivalent to summation n is equivalent to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z power minus n this is the equation for jet transform of any signal x of n here we are having our signal x of n we are having our finite duration sequence here so by that we can limit this limits n is equivalent to minus infinity to infinity here we are having so by observing the sequence itself we can limit this summation to n is equivalent to 0 to 5 why because if you consider minus infinity to infinity also you are not having your signal x of n that, uh, that means minus infinity to 4 your x of n is equivalent to 0 you are not having any sample means your value for that signal in that region is equivalent to 0 so now that is why no need to take any other regions only required region you need to consider 0 to 5 they given up to 0 to 5 x of n z power minus n now I am expanding this sequence I am expanding this summation just I am substituting n equal to 0 here x of 0 z power 0 in place of n I am substituting 0 plus here n is equal to 1 x of 1 z power minus 1 plus x of 2 z power minus 2 plus x of 3 z power minus 3 plus x of 4 z power minus 4 plus x of 5 z power minus 5 
So up to n is equivalent to 5, I expanded this summation. In this sum, in this values, we know x of 0, x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3. If I substituted that values, you are going to get your z transform of the sequence x of n. So therefore, x of z is equivalent to, for the given sequence, x of 0 is 5. 5 into z power 0, no need to mention, z power 0 is also equivalent to 1. So plus x of 1 means that is equivalent to 3 into z power minus 1 plus x of 2 value is a minus value minus 3 into z power minus 2 plus x of 3 is 0. 0 into z power minus 3 you will get 0. So, I am not going to consider this value. Why? Because this value is going to be 0 plus x of 4 value is 4. 4 into z power minus 4 Finally, we are having x of 5 again negative value 2 into z power minus 5. So, this is the z transform of given sequence. Like this way, we need to get the z transform of discrete finite duration sequences.